but you gotta get involved. You gotta get the vote out. You gotta knock on your neighbor's doors. You gotta get your family and friends to show up to the polls so that we can get the right people in office. So that's what we're working on. So we have a tough task ahead of us, but we have been making great gains. Uh, if you think anybody can come to our monthly meetings, a lot of you have. They're pretty amazing. They're getting bigger and bigger. We're getting a lot of people every month coming to these monthly meetings. Uh, we're talking about issues such as public transportation. Anybody want public transportation here? We're making a push. We're getting into media. Um, I know there's some candidates and some officials that want to get public transportation here in Lowndes County. There's no reason we shouldn't have it. They're going to talk with you about that. Uh, we've been talking about property rights. We've been talking about environmental issues. We're going to be talking about education. Every month, we're getting a huge turnout at our monthly meeting. So if you haven't been showing up, I'm going to ask you to please show up. There are potluck meetings. You can show up and have some food. Gretchen makes amazing dishes every month. So please come to these. Uh, if you look at this, there's a brochure some of you have there. These are some of our recent accomplishments, some of the things that we've been doing lately. And if you look through that brochure, you can see some of the things that we've been doing, such as we just got a resolution passed, helped get a resolution passed by the city and county. We've been pushing to stop the Sable Trail oil pipeline. That's us. I'd like to give a special thanks to John Quarterman for taking the lead on that issue. John's around somewhere. Um, just take on a leadership role. We really pushed to make that happen, so that's a victory. We've also uh, spoken out recently against uh, uh, supporting the anti-tethering ordinance so animals are not chained up in the heat outside in the middle of August. We wanted to have some laws passed to protect animals and animal rights. It's something we've been working on. Uh, public transportation, we had a meeting a couple months ago about public transportation, and it was packed. The meeting was packed. There's a lot of people who are interested in making that happen. Uh, we were in the media, uh, WCTV, the Dallas Daily Times, WDLB came out and covered the story. It's become a hot issue here in Lowndes County. So with your help, we're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until we get some public transportation locally. Uh, we've been working with Habitat for Humanity, building houses for families in need. Uh, we've been donating food, raising money, and donating food to Second Harvest in South Georgia. We're getting a lot done. And a lot of that is because of you. You're showing up to the meetings, you're asking, how can I help? And that's kind of what I'd like to close with, is that anything, any issue that is of specific importance to you, we're here to help you. Every one of us has an issue with you that we really care passionately. Let me know. Let Gretchen, let John know. We're going to do everything we can to help you with that issue. That's why we're here. Uh, so I would like to say that to transition, um, and where's Gretchen at? Not here. Um, this is something I've, I've been asked to read by the chairman of it's Lanier County. Lanier County asked me to read this. She could not make it tonight. The Voting Rights Act was signed into law 50 years ago on August 4th, 1965. The Lanier County Democratic Party is planning a celebration of this anniversary with an event at Martin Luther King Park in Lakeland on Saturday, August 1st. The goal is to remember the sacrifices made during that period in our history by countless men and women of all colors and to celebrate what they achieved. Too many of our citizens, too many of our citizens are not voting, especially in midterm or state elections. That is hurting us in many ways. We will have a brief time for speakers to challenge and encourage our citizens to exercise the right to vote earned by the struggles of 50 years ago. We would especially like to encourage young people to vote, and a young speaker for our event would be very welcome. We will also register voters to have food and drinks, activities for children, and music to create a celebratory atmosphere. We do not plan to make this a political event. Counties surrounding Lanier are invited to join us in the celebration. We welcome any volunteers who would like to assist us. If you would like to help in any way, or have a young speaker that you would recommend, please let us know. 
I call it Betty Marini. Betty Marini at 229-460-0816. Thank you to Lyle's Democrats for allowing us this time. So that's from Betty Marini, chair, uh, chair of Lanier County. So thank you, Betty. So I would like to welcome to the stage Laverne Gaskins, who is the Secretary of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Well, please welcome Laverne. Even though they 
run this nonpartisan to our Democrats. Yeah. They are. Look at the struggle going to Atlanta, you know, okay. Columbus, Athens, Augusta, Savannah, all. And you know, you've always had good leadership down here. Jenny, we need you there. He'll be mad. I so know he's got his campaign team over here. So his wife, the secret has a secret weapon that grandbaby he's carrying around. But uh, good luck with that. Very good to be with you. Thank you for being here. I love you. You know, we've come a long way in Georgia. And we, we lost the ground and think there's a Democratic Party. You know, several cycles ago, we couldn't get about 40% in the state by elections. Look at the trends. Look at the, the Michelle Dunn and Jason Carter leading our ticket last year. That we moved from 39 to 46%. And what does that mean? What that means is we're nationally, Georgia is the next battleground state. Democrats believe that you 
to have a healthier and a better educated workforce, you will attract the industry and the jobs that are better for our family and better for our
go vote. Nathan Deal will be the last Republican governor. Thank you. 